we're going to learn how to clinch up, like successfully, without actually getting punched. That's punched. Uh, okay, so we're just going to go off of a, off of a jab, across, and then a hook. Real simple. Okay. Uh, off the first punch, when he jabs, I'm going to scoop, and as I scoop it, I'm going to pat that hand, and as I pat it, that's going to stop it, so it's going to stop him from firing, and I'm just going to get up to 50-50. It's called 50-50 over under. Same thing off the jab cross. Scoop, head outside, just come up to the over under. Get jab cross hook, arm insert, and just come up to the 50 50. Real simple. Okay, one more time. The jabs, I scoop, just like this. I'm scooping it down and tapping the hand or bringing my hand inside and come up right into the tie. Jab cross, scoop it, head outside. Jab cross hook, like a BioSal, and come right up to this. I can also do that one off the jab cross hook. Cover and do nothing. Just trying to get an under and an over. This is my stance and my grip. Okay. Right, let's try it. Let's just go like this. This is uh, left arm under and we left leg forward. And then we pummel, pummel. Right leg forward, right arm under. I don't want to be like this. Just like this. Head, head outside, head outside. Or you can keep your head inside. Either one's fine. A lot of guys do this. As you can see, the knee is available. Ooh. But also the knee, I'm setting him up to me so I can catch and take him down too. So there's a lot of setup. The head control is important. Okay, he doesn't want his head too low, but the head control is important. And you don't want a guy standing too much into you because it's easy for me to so trip and take him down. Okay. So this is an over under, and then let it switch over under. So 50-50 tight. And a lot of guys, like especially any guy that grapples, any guy that wrestles. When they're fighting, they stand out here. Maybe they're uncomfortable, they don't know. If, but what happens when he punches them? Oh, oh, and they're, they're comfortable because this is a safety zone. Now they, this is their game. But out here, they're afraid to get hit. You know, the guys better. So this just helps you get in and tie the guy out uh, correctly without getting punched in the face. So again, the first one is scoop it and tap it. Or if his hand's wider, you go inside it like that. And as I come in, jump cross, scoop. Jab cross hook. Looks like that. See? That's right. Or he kicks. See, it's a harder kick. I ride it. I come in. Okay, same thing on the outside. I shield it, and then I just step in with my other side. Okay, one more time. I shield it, and then I. Okay, he kicks. If I ride it, ooh. Or I destroy it. I point my knee right at it and come right in. It's too tight. Okay? If you right knee, it's right knee. Forearm block, just like that. Forearm block with my head down because I know that crock, you can fake the knee and punch. Oh, okay. So I go here, forearm, and then step. Okay. knees with this other knee. Just use your forearm forward and then just kind of like that. Real simple. Because some guys, when they fight, they're fighting, they start out and they fake and then they knee. And so as soon as he knees, boom, you're going to block it little time up. Okay. As soon as he kicks, I shield it. And come in, and when I shield, I lift. I lift with my curled toe. I don't point my toe. I curl it, boom, and then I'm out. So I'm in. Okay. Uh, if I ride it, my leg reverbs just like that. Okay, so I go like that, and I take it, walk, or I destroy it. I just point my knee right at it. Kicks here, point my knee, I shield, or I rear shield. Or he kicks, I ride it. Okay, let's try it. Just remember when you're rushing in, what are you going to eat? Right uppercut. And your uppercut is actually a vertical punch. Like in boxing, a lot of times they teach the uppercut like this. Like, let's say he shields this and he comes barreling in to tackle. They teach it like this. Uh, personally, I like the uppercut just from here. So if he shields and he starts to come in, I bring it right here. Boom. A low to high vertical punch. That's my uppercut. So a lot of times I go like this and it comes in. I use it right here. Just drop it a little over there. Okay. Right, let's try it. Just remember that. If you're barreling in, you're going to eat that punch. Remember, if you have a bad tie up, if he ties up around my neck and down and around here, he's susceptible. His hips are susceptible. If he ties up and he's, he's here and he's under my arm, he's susceptible for a neck arm. So the 50 50 means we have equal. I can also just suck his hips in. I also want to allow 
too straight. And when you come to the straight line, like he throws a straight, or if he goes vertical, they come in the straight line, a lot of times they'll come in with a hook afterwards. And the hook, usually. So for, for this drill, a lot of guys will come in too straight, and then they'll come in line, which sets up. So he's going to go too straight, and they're going to form, form, hook, hook, and you tie him off just like this. And this is like a big steering wheel. So uh, obviously you have your formable. You have your cheese out here. This is your cheese out here on the arms. Because you have this, I'm, he's right now he's a huge bus. It's a big steering wheel. I can move him anywhere I want. So allow me to knee him. So allow me to foot sweep him. Okay. So allow me to duck under. This will allow me to punch him, to double leg tackle, everything. So I'm going to control him with this position. Look, because what happens is he throws one, two, and then he goes here, and I just tie him up. And, and he's going to be pressuring, trying to grab me, and this will allow me to con continue to manipulate and control his move. So you have a small chi sao and a big chi sao. And this is a monkey grip. Two hands, scoop, you have meat hooks, your hands are hooked like this with your thumb inside, and it's hooking the back of his arms like this, or his shoulders for the control. And at any time, it can slide up for the head, no Or you can lift it and duck under. Okay. So, <clears throat> next combo, throws a, one, one, a double straight and a double wide. Boom, boom, bop, bop, we come into control. And then if you need to say, one, two, three, four, and walk in, walk in. Because there's the pressure. Let's go back and forth. So two straight, two wide. That's okay, but he still has my waist. So a lot of guys go for a tight waist. So what I don't like is the guy to get his hands uh, together. So when he goes too straight, when he goes wide, I see how you do this, and I keep it forward, and my elbow's in. Throw a hook to my head. Throw a hook, uppercut to my body. So still good control. Not only that, it gives you this one. Oh, sorry. Okay. This also gives you a head and arm. Gives you the foot sweep. Gives you the double knee tackle. Gives you the duck under. He's a real good position. And this is because a guy's coming hard and strong, and he's forcing those punches on him. There's a pressure. That's right. 